from Aguas Calientes. This is the base town of Machu Picchu. I'm up bright and early. It's about 5.30 a.m. I'm gonna get some breakfast and then head up to Machu Picchu. Should be an exciting day. I am walking through Aguas Calientes right now in Cadiz of the town. I arrived at night so I didn't really get to see what it looks like. Uh, but it's really cool. It is past. It is past 6 o'clock now. And that's the time when I get first access to Machu Picchu. From Agos Valientes, I am hiking to the top of Machu Picchu. Most people take a bus. And it's an hour and 30 minutes. I decided since I want to be cheap and save some money on walk, uh, but also um, I'm, I live at elevation, I live at 9,000 feet, and so I figured the elevation wouldn't really affect me that much. Um, I haven't really done any treks, I didn't want to spend the money on it, nor did I really have the time that it took to do any of the treks to Machu Picchu, so this is my version of trekking. <laughs> yeah, it's just like an hour and 30 minute hike, but hopefully with my long legs, and a consistent pace, I can get there a little bit sooner. Right now it is six, so hoping to get up there around seven. Oh, here's another bus. <laughs> Loving this hike, but those buses keep passing by. It's just really cool to be in a rainforest area. I don't really get to experience that a whole lot. All right, the first sign that says I'm going to watch Pichu. Ooh, I'm about to leave this road here so I can ditch all these buses past me, which is so annoying. That's what I have to look forward to, switchbacks. I have now left the road, and I'm in the part of the hike where I'm getting vertical gain. So hiking up, and in the thick of the jungle now. I gotta go up some Incan steps right now. Ooh, check it out. <laughs> Further up now. Pretty exhausting hike. Especially since I'm trying to do it fast so I can maximize my time at Machu Picchu. Hike takes an hour and 30 minutes. And it is 7.01. Oh. I knew if I kept up a good pace I'd be up here early. Through the gate here. I have until 1 p.m. because I'm doing the extra hike. All right, these are the first sights of Machu Picchu. <laughs> Gonna keep hiking up to get a better view of it. I made it to my first wonder of the world, Machu Picchu. Here it is. <laughs> You can kind of see everybody taking photos. <laughs> it's one of the main things to do here. I gotta, gotta kind of document it. But yeah, people are just kind of waiting in line, waiting, taking turns. Let's get the shot. I haven't seen llamas all trip. Apparently, they're all over Peru. So it's pretty cool to see my first llamas up here at Machu Picchu. into the ruins now. I'm just gonna explore before I do the Montana hike. This should give me even should give me a pretty cool perspective of Machu Picchu. But yeah just kind of exploring the ruin areas here. Just getting in the thick of it. The 
it's the opposite side of Machu Picchu. Everybody comes in on the one side where it's like breathtaking, you take a photo. This is what it looks like from the other side. It's funny, you can see the two different styles of stone making here. <laughs> you can see like the bottom half is one style and then the top half is another. <laughs> They're like, oh, actually, don't want to put in the effort for those. <laughs> At least it's got a stable foundation. From here you can see a good view of the road. And now it just like hairpins back and forth. Yeah, basically hiked up that today. Just got through the gate to hike Machu Picchu, Montana. Explored the ruins a little bit. I feel like I got a good feel for it, you know? And now I'm gonna do a hike. So kind of have like uphill perspective on Machu Picchu. See what that view is like. I still think the view when you first come in is gonna be the best view. But hey, might as well get a bunch of views and perspectives of this place. I don't know how far I am on the Montana hike for here for Machu Picchu. Uh, but this spot has a good view of Machu Picchu from afar. Uh, this hike has a lot of vert, a lot of vertical feet. Everybody's catching their breath as they're hiking. Whew. Should feel pretty good once I'm at the top, though. Whew. Higher up now, almost up to the summit. Uh, there's a lot of vertical feet gain in this hike. You just keep hiking up and up. It doesn't get flat; it's just straight up. So it's pretty exhausting. You can see. I think that is the summit up there. Oh, off here at the summit of Machu Picchu, Montana. To give you all a perspective on what I just hiked, Machu Picchu, Montana, it is all the way up there. I don't know if that gives it a sense of scale of how tall it is. <laughs> it's quite the hike though. So much hiking today. I am gassed. Hiked up to Machu Picchu and I did Machu Picchu Montana. I'm about to get back into Aguas Calientes now. I have about 40 minutes to spare before I have to catch the bus. So I'm gonna make a water pit stop and uh, get some food in my stomach. <laughs> 